And <clears throat> I hate how often I clear my throat. I think it's a nervous tick. <clears throat> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Colin and I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup, especially indie makeup and colorful makeup. And while I am new here to YouTube, I do have new content every week so I'd love to have you subscribe. So I am super excited for today's video because I got my first piece of PR. So I got the new Haunted Europe palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Nomad Cosmetics are really great. Uh, I have some of their other palettes. The quality is really great, but they're also really nice people. I talk to her all the time on Instagram and she's really sweet. And when this was getting ready to launch, she reached out and asked if she could send it to me in PR. And I said, of course, because the theme sounds great and I love everything else I have from you. So I'm really excited to open this up, try it. I'm gonna do some swatches and uh, a look. And then I think I'll probably over the next few days film some more looks and do a three looks, one palette video as well. So this is the new Haunted Europe palette from Nomad Cosmetics. It launched yesterday. I got this last night, so I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. It was already dinner time and I had things going on. Um, but I'm really excited to open this up, swatch it and try it out. This is sold out. This sold out day of, which I don't know if has ever happened to them before. Uh, we were talking about how exciting it is to have that happen. Um, so they are doing a pre-order right now for more stock. They have more stock on the way and they're doing a pre-order that you'll get it in October. So not that far away in the next few weeks. And I believe they're even doing, because it's sold out so fast, they're doing free shipping on all of the pre-orders, which is really great. So this is the outer packaging. This is the box that came in. It's got Dracula's castle. It says Haunted Europe with these little bats right here. And then on the back, it has the normal destination coordinates, inspiration kind of thing that they do with a little description. Um, so it says medieval Europe, haunted castles, and eerie forests, and the inspiration was dark fairy tales. And then it's got all the shades here, and they always put the shades like for the Iceland palette, all of the new shades on the back were in Icelandic, and then in the palette itself, it's all in English. So they did the same thing here. So some of these look like they're in like German or Czech or something. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. So it's a nice big palette. It's one of their 18 pans. So it's the same size as the Orient Express, I believe. Um, and it's bigger than the Iceland one or the uh, America's Parks, which are the last two that they did. And then the actual packaging is so cool. It's got this like holographic thing where it's got a painting of a woman. And then when you switch it, it becomes like this ghostly figure holding a skull. So I think that's a really cool touch. I'm really, really happy with this. This is really beautiful. Um, and then the inside has a giant mirror, which I will fold back so I don't blind people. And then here's the color story. So this is so pretty. I, they did shade reveal. So the first shade they showed was this black forest blue. And then I remember they showed Bloody Mary in a clip and the catacombs and then maybe this gold castle shade. I don't remember exactly. And I know they showed the Count Dracula shade because we were talking about how it's supposed to be the shade of dried blood and she was inspired by Count Chocula and the, the, the colors of Count Chocula as well, which I thought was funny and appreciate. So it's half mattes, half shimmers, which is a ratio I really like. It is, so it's nine of each because it's 18 and they're all mixed around and you can see they're kind of grouped in like here's some more warm tones, here's these like blues and greens and then you've got these uh, like cool tones over here um, with these like this cranberry shade and this uh, purpley sparkly shade right here called Krampus. So this is really pretty. I haven't touched any of them yet. And in honor of this being a spooky Halloween palette, the closest thing I had to wear was my black cat t-shirt. So felt like that was fitting for a Halloween kind of themed. So I really like Nomad's formula. The mattes are really soft and pigmented and they blend really well. Um, kind of comparable to Lethal's formula, which is probably my favorite. And then the shimmers are really pretty and they often do like special sparkles. So like this purple shade looks just like a nice purple, but when I when the light hits it, I see 
like blue and red glitter running through it. And then they really like their embossing. So you can see each row has a different embossing. So this one is little coffins. This one has this castle on it. These are, a, this is a graveyard. And then there's these trees, spider webs, and then bats. And so this is just super cute. It's a perfect Halloween fall palette. So I'm gonna swatch these. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and I'll swatch right here. I don't have any primer or anything on. So just by looking at this, I already have a bunch of ideas to do. Like I said, I'll probably do a three looks one palette with this as well, um, start filming that tomorrow. But I wanted to get a first impression up right away. Um, so, so the first shade here is Mary King's Clothes. Mary, Mary King's Clothes, I can talk. And that's just a nice, neutral brown. Um, I'm gonna go down in rows, I think. So the next shade is Boogeyman, which is this really pretty gold. Um, so this is like a yellow and this is more like a gold. You can kind of see the difference when I hold it at an angle versus straight on. That looks really pretty. And then this is the Catacombs, which I think might be one of my favorite shades just by looking at it. Yeah, that's really beautiful. So it's like a gray, but there's hints of like purple and blue and it, it's really pretty. So it's a nice like khaki caramel color. There's the gold, that's really pretty, really shiny. And then Boogeyman. Yeah, I think that's gonna be one of my favorites. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but it's silver with like blue and gold and maybe some purple or something, sparkles running through it. It's really pretty. So the next row or the next column is uh, this really pretty gold, which I think has a bit of a shift to it. Frankenstein, which is this nice orange very pretty true orange and then we've got drag's hole and castle which is this nice dark brown looks kind of cool toned so yeah there's the other gold so you can see this one's a more yellow that one's more orange gold orange mat and then this deep brown mat didn't swatch the best but Swatches are mostly, for me, I think swatches are fun, but they mostly just show you how the color is going to look blended out versus in the pan and helps you kind of like put a look idea together. So we've got the next column is Highgate Cemetery, which I think is my other favorite shade just looking at it. Um, it's this really pretty like mint-ish shimmer. It's like a light gray with a hint of blue and green. Uh, Grendel is this really dark green. That's a really pretty color. And then Mary Cemetery, and then Mary Cemetery is this other green shimmer, which is gorgeous. So, yeah, that's a nice pale, good inner corner blending out with the green, other green. It's a really pretty green help tone. It's a little darker and cooler tone than the green that they put in uh, the America's Parks palette. And then this green is also one of those shades that's got like turquoise and gold and stuff sparkle in it. So it's not just the shimmer shade. It's also got like special sparkles. And then <clears throat> This row is obviously one, probably the one I'm gonna try out today. This is because I'm a sucker for blues and greens. So we've got, this is like a pale taupey gray. Uh, Big Bad Wolf is this really pretty blue shimmer. And then Black Forest is that blue. I feel bad swatching them because it's ruining the imprinting, but that's really pretty. It's kind of champagne-y. That blue is really pretty. Yeah, it's got lots of light blue sparkle in it. It kind of reminds me of the blue in the new Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. The blue shimmer on that has like light blue sparkles running through it. 
So I'm running out of room. Uh, Ghost River is this next shade. And then we've got Krampus and Bran Castle. Those are really pretty, that purple. So this will be a nice transition shade. It's like a cool toned mauve. So I'm just gonna do that. I'll just keep going. You know, it's got a bit of a purple undertone to it, which makes sense. That purple is really beautiful. And then that's a nice gray with a little bit of a blue tint, bluish purple tint to it. And then the last row is Bloody Mary, Count Dracula, and Span... I'm not sure how to say that one. And that's like a burnt orange. And then we've got the dried blood and this cranberry shade. So those are really pretty. So you can do definitely a, that like warm folly tone look with those. Okay, so I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go wipe off my arm real quick just so I don't get this everywhere and zoom you in and start. Okay, so I think I have multiple look ideas already, but I'm gonna do one today just to try out some of the shades. And even though this was sent to me in PR, I will be completely honest, I'm not gonna lie and say I like something I don't. Um, so if I have any critiques, I will definitely mention them today and in the full review when I do a full review. Um, I think I'm gonna do the blues and the greens because it's my favorite. So I already did my base. I'll have all the details in the description box, but it's my normal Fenty uh, skin tint in shade 11, my Kosas concealer. And then for bronzer, I used my lethal one, which is this tectonic one right here. And then for highlighter, I grabbed one of the Norns highlighters from Odin's Eye. This is the Veil of Future one. Um, so these were, I think these are still in stock. They are limited edition, uh, but they're all these handmade, beautiful ones. So they like made a bunch of different highlighters, chopped them up and smooshed them together. So you get this like purple and gold and this like white gold. And it ends up being this really pretty pale gold with a little bit of a hint of that purple. And then for blush, I used this old Urban Decay one I have, um, which is this coral one right here from this little face trio. And then my lipstick is spray tan from House Labs because it's this nice orangey nude that I uh, love, especially this time of year. So I think I already primed my eyes with my Urban Decay eye primer. I think I'm gonna go in with Mary King's clothes right here on a fluffy brush and just brush that all over so that I have a bit of a transition. And I'm just gonna use the mirror in the palette, which I need to peel the thing off of so I can see myself better. <clears throat> okay, this is a nice, very good quality mirror and it's huge. Cause this is a, this is a large palette. Like you can see next to my, I have a big head and this is, you know, big. So that's just a, yeah, this is like a nice, there's a little bit of a warmth to it, but it's kind of that like khaki color. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of that down just to make sure I have something to blend into to help it blend in my skin. Cause I'm gonna go in with the green and the blue. And I think this is a good transition shade. It's not, I could build it up if I really wanted to and needed to, but I don't, so. So I think I'm gonna do a two-tone crease. I haven't done one in a while, and I've been watching a lot of my friend Danny's videos, uh, Scars to Stars, here on YouTube and on Instagram, and she does two-tone creases a lot, and it kind of inspired me, so I'm gonna do one today. So I think I'm gonna do the green, because it's a little lighter on the inner part of the crease, and then the blue on the outer part. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna dip in my Sigma blending brush. This is an E27 to that green, tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna tap that right in my crease right here. 
and that's nice and pigmented, but not overly so. So that blended out with no effort at all, um, which is part of why I like Nomad Shadows. I think they're really beginner friendly too because they're so easy to blend. And now I'm gonna take that blue and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and outer crease. Okay, so I really like that shape so far, and those are blending nicely together. So I'm really happy with this so far. And <clears throat> so I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that blue and pack it on that outer corner, really add, add the depth in that I want. It's a really beautiful shade. This is kind of my favorite tone of blue. So I'm just kind of creating the shape that I want very slowly. I want these to be a little bit above my actual crease so you can see them when I'm looking ahead, but not, you know, up to my brow. So I'm gonna go and do that on the other side, make sure that they match and be right back. Okay, so the outer corner on my left eye is looking a little messy, but that's my fault. That has nothing to do with the shadows. But so far these are looking really nice and blending together very pretty. Um, so I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush to that first shade, that Mary King's Castle, or Mary King's Clothes, and I'm going to buff out the edges just a little bit. But you can see the edges look pretty blended already, I just want to make sure there's no harsh lines. So I still can't believe I got my first piece of PR, especially from a brand I really respect and like. I, uh, I mean, I don't even have a hundred subscribers on here yet. Um, so I was, I was very honored, but also shocked when she sent me that message and asked if I'd like this in PR. I do have more subscribers on Instagram. I think I have close to, I'm not like 2,600 or something. So I definitely have more of a reach there than here, but Still doesn't feel like enough. There's that, you know, good old imposter syndrome. Never quite good enough, especially as an academic. Okay, so I really like the way this is looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with some shimmers and also the lower lash line. So like normal, I'm gonna take some NYX glitter primer and put that on this little flat brush and put that on my lid. And then with a similar shaped little flat brush, I'm gonna go into the shimmers. So I think I'm gonna stick with the green shimmers today. So I think I'm gonna do Mary Cemetery on the outer half of my lid and Highgate Cemetery on the inner half of the lid. And just blend those two together. So on one side of the brush, I'm gonna take Mary Cemetery, which is picking up nicely. Look how pretty that is. And I'm gonna tap that, make sure I have the right side of the brush. And I'm going to tap that all over right here. Nomad shimmers are really pretty. They, uh, and they blend together really nicely. I found they're not like as shifty as like, you know, a Terra Moon single or something like that, but they're, they're still, they're really, interesting and really sparkly. I like that she does, like, sometimes she has a duochrome with a pretty cool shift, but even if she doesn't, she has, like, multiple sparkles throughout that, like, when the light hits your eye, you really see them, and they, they just make the shades really special. And now I'm going to go into Highgate Cemetery and slowly ruining those pretty imprints, and I'm going to put that on the inner part. And that's going to go from my inner corner in. And then I think because of the blue mat out here, I'm going to go into Big Bad Wolf, which is the blue shimmer. It's kind of a blue gray. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the outer V as well, just so that they all blend together, the blue to the green.
and you can see they almost instantly just blended into like basically looking like one shade but with you know a gradient effect on the colors that's part of why i like these shimmers okay so that looks really good that looks really pretty and you can see how shiny they are with the light hitting them so i'm going to go ahead and do this on the other side and i will be right back okay so i really like the way this looks it's real these shimmers are so so good um so i'm going to i have a little bit more of that on my inner corner than i meant so i think for my lower lash line i'm going to go into count dracula and blend that all up into the blue and then use a little bit of the blue to deepen and connect the two yeah so i'm going to go in with this little flat liner brush basically um, and tap into Count Dracula and slowly do my lower lash line. I really like this dried blood shade. It's really pretty. And I will definitely be doing a look soon where this plays more of a role but I didn't want to do just blue and greens. I guess I could have done the dark brown, but I like this little bit of a purpley undertone red mixed in. And then with my normal, and then with my normal little stubby smudge brush, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of it and make the outer part a little thicker and take a little bit of the blue black from the black forest shade and connect the two. Try not to go too dramatic on the shape today just because, I don't know, I just felt like not going too winged out. I feel like I've unintentionally gone very dramatic and winged out a lot lately. And you can do colorful without it being as dramatic. You can also do color in like a, you know, used the neutrals in my lid and then done the greens, which is something I thought about doing, but I had to use, I had to use the greens and the blue mats. So now I'm gonna take the shade Ghost River, which is the light shade that kind of goes together with that, that light cool tone. And I'm just gonna blend the edges and make sure that this is smoked out and not too harsh. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, this kind of like taupey champagne. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner as well. Just brighten it up a little bit more. And pull it down underneath a little bit. So I have a little bit of a sparkle or a little bit of shine underneath my eye. So it's not just dark. This is a nice subtle shimmer. Okay, so I really like the way that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and add mascara and such and finish the lash, or finish the lower lash here, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and this is the finished look. I went ahead and added uh, my House Labs liquid eyeliner. I used a ColourPop kind of gold eyeliner. I think it's Sub-Zero. I was gonna use my emeraldy shade from House Labs because it's got a bit of a sparkle to it, but I could not find it. So I don't know where that went. Um, and then my Urban Decay mascara. I didn't I didn't bother with lashes today. I didn't feel like fighting with them the other day. My left eye just did not want to. Took 15 minutes or something. Like I just didn't want to fight with them today. <laughs> but I like the way this looks. And I'm really happy with the way the look turned out. So the blue and the green blended really well together. The blood red, dry blood kind of shade blended really nicely with the blue over here to make kind of a purple. That taupey inner corner blended well with the green. They all, it's only been like maybe 10 minutes since I finished the shimmers and the they all blended together into like one solid like shift from like light green to dark green to blue. And it looks really cool. 
So I'm really happy with this look. I'm really happy with all the shades I've tried so far. So I've now used one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five of the mattes. So I've used five of nine mattes already and three shimmers, four shimmers. One, two, three, four. So I will definitely be doing more looks over the next couple days. I have some ideas for these purpley tones and the golds. Uh, I might do just a, a standard like neutral eye, like a neutral fall eye with the oranges. I'm not sure, but I have a lot of ideas. So I'll be posting stuff to Instagram and I will be doing a three looks, one palette video probably up. Today's Thursday. I'm gonna try and get this video up today. If I can't edit in time, then it'll be up tomorrow. So maybe Monday for a three looks video. I also have a ColourPop video that I filmed and I need to finish editing, <laughs> so. Uh, but I'm really loving this palette so far. The attention to detail around the packaging itself is always, it's top notch, just like always. I love this. And the shades all work beautifully so far. So I'm so honored that they sent this to me. Like, I can't thank Nomad enough. They, they're just so nice. Um, and so far I'm really loving this. It's the same quality as all of their other stuff. So if you've tried Nomad before, same great quality. Uh, <clears throat> like I said in the intro, this does retail for $44 because it's one of the bigger ones. I think the, the 12 pan or whatever is 30 something normally. So it's a little bit more, but you're getting more shades. And this is currently sold out, but it is on pre-order. So you can already buy it, pre-order it. Um, it's free domestic shipping in the U.S. and discounted international shipping because of the pre-order. And she did say that this would be sent out in October. So you'll still get it in October, which is when this is the most relevant. Although I feel like I'll be using this all fall and winter. So, so I am so grateful and so honored to get this and I am so excited to keep using it. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this look and what you think of the palette. Did you pick it up already or are you pre-ordering it? I'm, I'm really interested to see. I've already seen some friends use it online and I've loved everything I've seen so far. Also, while this is $44, you can use codes to save money. So I think they often do 15% off if it's your first purchase. And then I know influencer codes are normally like 10% off. I don't have one, but there are a bunch out there. My friend Steven has one, it's Steven10, I believe. So definitely always try to find one and use one of those so you can at least save 10%. But I think this is definitely worth the money so far, but I will give you a full review sometime next week after I've tried all the shades and worn them for, you know, a whole day at a time and stuff. But for now, really excited about this, really grateful and happy. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you all in my next video. I just realized even the bird turns into a skeleton and there's a heart there.